Hello, hello everybody, Jamie Trell here, your favorite CPA and financial literacy coach, and I could not be more excited for the topic today because we're gonna be talking about holiday shopping. <laughs> so I'm recording this in November, we're going into holiday season, prime shopping time, and we're specifically gonna be talking about how do we support women-owned small businesses during this holiday season and just in general. Um, but I've put together some resources for you if you're someone like me who has really great intentions when it comes to supporting small businesses, but then you find yourself getting really close to you know the Christmas holiday and and you end up Amazon priming basically everything that you can to check things off of your wish list. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. How can you support women-owned businesses even from Amazon? I'll talk about that too here in just a minute. And some best practices for supporting small business. Now, of course, I gotta give a caveat here to say, I am not saying anything negative about businesses owned by anyone else, but I did want to specifically talk about women in this because of the fact that there is a huge disparity. So you're here, you're listening to this, you you probably already know this and you may be a women business owner yourself, but one stat that has always gotten to me is the fact that 40% of privately owned businesses are owned by women, which sounds amazing, right? And that number continues to go up. However, only 4% of revenues are earned by women owned businesses. Okay, so that's a huge disparity. 40% of businesses earning only 4% of the revenues, which is why it's so important that we think about this when we are shopping with our own dollars. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to support small businesses in general and also women owned small businesses uh, specifically. And one of the best things that you can do is to shop early, okay? I'm telling this to you, but I'm also telling it to me because shopping early means that you're gonna have more time for things like handmade goods, right? To shop online where you're not worried about having to get two day shipping in order to get it to you in time. So you're also gonna get a great quality when you do that because a lot of people are handmade makers. They make these things themselves. They use high quality things. They're much more durable than maybe something that you would buy in a big box store. So it can be worth it to shop early and make sure that you're giving enough time for that person to be able to fulfill that product and get it to you before the holidays. I know that, that the last minute thing is one of the things that tends to drive me to Target or to Amazon. And so shopping early and making that list and knowing what you want can be really, really key here. Now, the second tip is obviously to be informed on who you are buying from, right? And that can be easier said than done. It can be difficult to find those small businesses that you want to support. Even though we have the internet at our hands, I feel like it can be tough to find these types of businesses out of the many and to know exactly who you're buying from at the end of the day. Now, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to figure that out. And the first thing that I wanna send you to is something that we have been working on in Internally at Jamie Trull, we and Team Trull have been working on a holiday gift guide. So that's something that we've had on our list for a long time that we've wanted to do to be able to feature some of these women-owned businesses and um, really tell people about them and the wonderful things that they are doing. So a lot of these are people who are just in our you know communities and are a part of the greater community of women business owners that um, we have surrounded ourselves with in this business. So if you want to check that out, you're going to be able to go to jamietroll.com forward slash gift guide, okay? jamietroll.com forward slash gift guide. Important to point out, none of these are affiliate links. <laughs> so I make absolutely nothing off of any sale that, that comes from this. These are just people that we either know of or applied to be part of this guide. And we went through and picked what we thought would be really, really great gifts to be able to feature to you. So each of them has featured a specific thing from their website. So you can see if you go down, there's gifts for all kinds of people. People. We've got essentials for gifting, right? We've got some handmade items here, which are beautiful. We have gifts for learners, right? We have some learning gifts that if you want to, you know, teach guitar or cooking, right? That's all included within here. Um, we have lots of gifts for kids as well, right? So there's gifts from all kinds of people. And one of the great things about this too is that you can see the featured gift and learn about it, but you can also 
um, click on these websites and go directly to these websites to purchase these. It does support small business the most when you purchase directly from them. Now that doesn't mean you can't support small businesses by purchasing in other ways. And we're gonna talk about that specifically where it comes to Amazon here in a minute. But the best thing that you can do is to support them through their website. They're gonna pay the least amount in fees and that's gonna be the best way to make sure that they get to keep most of those hard earned dollars, okay? So check out websites. Again, make sure to pay attention to shipping times because sometimes they will be longer, especially if you're getting an item handmade. So you wanna be looking at that as early as possible. Now I'm gonna speak to my last minute shoppers here and also my Amazon shoppers. I will tell you, I am guilty of this. I am a person that absolutely has a whole porch full of Amazon boxes in the last days before Christmas. And it may not always work out to be able to order weeks and weeks ahead of time um, and order directly from some of these websites. So sometimes we do end up needing that 24 hour or 48 hour shipping window in order to be able to get things to us, in which case we can still support small businesses and support small women owned businesses directly through Amazon. So I'm going to show you a couple of tips and they are a little bit hidden. This was something that I found really interesting is that I thought this would be something I could easily find when I went into Amazon, but you actually have to hunt and peck quite a bit. So I want to make sure that it's accessible for you. So if you go to jamietrell.com forward slash Amazon women owned, okay, Amazon women owned, it's going to redirect you to an Amazon site. All right. And it is going to be their women-owned small business site. So you can go on there and shop specifically women-owned small businesses through that link. So you can see where you know it will take you to this page and you can click in. You can even go even more specific if you wanted to shop black women-owned products, right? You have a lot of different things that you can go in. You can look for creators and um, what they do, but there is a ton of stuff out here. So this is where I'm going to be doing a lot of my shopping this year is through this, especially if I need last minute items, I know where to go. Now, another one of my tips just year round for shopping on Amazon in order to support small businesses is to recognize the fact that tons and tons of small businesses like we've seen do use Amazon in order to sell their products. We have millions, there are millions on Amazon alone, small businesses that use it as a platform. And oftentimes they're using uh, it to fulfill their product as well, but it's technically sold from that small business. They just use Amazon as a fulfillment center and to make it easy to get it to people quickly right? So if you want to be more aware when you're just ordering from Amazon any time of the year, I'm going to give you a couple of tricks to look at when you are searching for things. So let's say you wanted to order fall candles, for instance. If we are searching for fall candles, we're going to get lots and lots of different things that are going to come up, right? And oftentimes we might be just looking at price or how quickly can we get it or something like that, maybe reviews. But another thing I want you to think about and factor into that decision is some of these other factors. So for example, you can see this first result for pumpkin spice down here. It actually has a denotation for small business. So it will actually tell you that, yes, this is from a small business and you can see even more about it. If you click into this and you come on over here, you can see over on the side who it ships from, which again, oftentimes is going to be Amazon. And that's how it allows for you to get it so quickly is for it to be fulfilled by Amazon. But who it's shipping by. So you're gonna be able to see who that company is. You can also go to the store for that company. So if you wanted to click in and do even a little bit more research, you could go over there and actually see, yes, this is a candle company. You can see more specific reviews and you can see their address too. So if buying from somebody in the USA is important to you, you can verify what their seller address is on this page as well. Now, one thing to also be wary of, let's say you're looking at these candles and you don't see the shop small, but you wanna know exactly who this is coming from, right? You can see there's an Amazon choice. We might think that it's being shipped by Yankee Candle, but actually when you look in here, you can see that it's ships from 
and sold by Amazon. Okay, so a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times the ones that are marked and maybe are at the top of the search results or potentially are you know marked as Amazon favorites are often Amazon products, things that they are both um, fulfilling but also selling. Okay, so that is something to keep in mind when you are going through here, when you're comparing different things, maybe add that to your list of things to look at, not just reviews and not just price and not just shipping time, but maybe also who it's being sold by. And that doesn't mean you always have to make that decision, but I would weigh all of those different things and priorities and then make a decision that's fully informed off of that. So I've started changing my buying habits off of sites like this and just added that as a factor and something to consider when I'm making a decision. So the first two tips were to shop early, right? To support small businesses and to be informed as the second tip. The third tip I'm going to give you is to also use affiliate links, right? Affiliate links for women, maybe they're being posted on social media or something like that. Oftentimes they do not cost you any money. And as a consumer, you may even get special deals by using those codes and the small business owner will get some money for that as well. So we have lots of things that we are affiliates for. You can go over to my website and check out all of the different things that we affiliate for. Specifically, they are going to be things that are helpful for small business owners, right? So we're talking about accounting softwares, payroll softwares, things like that. So we find brands that we love and then we become affiliates for them and we can actually offer special deals to those who sign up through our affiliate link. It costs them nothing and you usually will either save money or get a special gift card or something like that just for using our link. And that's a super easy and free way to be able to support small businesses based off things that you already are doing and buying and needing, right? So we really appreciate it on our side. Um, I have other YouTube videos out there that go in more depth on the things that we recommend to small business owners with those affiliate links, but it means the world to me when people uh, take that information and use our links to sign up. So that is it for today. Hopefully that got you excited about supporting some small businesses and specifically some women-owned small businesses as you shop through this holiday season. Again, we have a couple of guides for you to go check out. And I would love for you to leave a comment down below if you purchased something off of the gift guide, something that you found there, let us know what it is. And also let us know if you have other women-owned small businesses that you wanna shout out because you love them so much. Put those in the comments so that people can find them, okay? This is something that is so key for both the holiday season and also year round.